Hey guys, Celciana here. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing Hidden Mysteries, The Faithful Voyage, Titanic. And... What? 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 Okay. I don't know what that was. April 10th, 1912. I was newly wed to a gentleman of means. My ticket out of these rotten burrows into an infant society where I could establish myself without fear of being judged by my past. And yet something tugged at me as we drove towards Southampton. A deep-seated urge to seek shelter, to be happy with my meager lot in life rather than to forge ahead haplessly into the unknown. I banished these thoughts from my mind as best I could, willing myself to focus on the cradle of New York City, which awaited mine and Robert's arrival some 5,000 kilometers away. I was one of the lucky few afforded the opportunity to travel on the RMS Titanic. I was curiously uncertain about many things, but I knew without a doubt this would be a journey I wouldn't soon forget. Well, you are right about that. I mean, you will not forget this journey. No. Good morning, sir and madam. Welcome aboard the pride of the White Star Line RMS Titanic. May I have your boarding passes, please? Of course. Here you are. Ah, Mr. Ashley, an honor, sir. And madam? Robert, don't you have my boarding pass? No, I gave it to Montague. He was to give it to you. But he didn't. At least, not that I remember. Mr. Ashley? Madam? Perhaps you could step aside until you find Madam's pass. Okay, you can click on a character scene. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Madam. I cannot let you board without a pass. It simply isn't done. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Have you found your pass yet? Montague, do you have my boarding pass? Margie? Mother? What on earth are you doing here? I came here looking for you, Margie. To beg you not to go to America. Mother, we've discussed all this. I have a new life now. A husband. Oh, yes. You mean the husband would make you renounce your own blood? How could I forget? We'll be back for a few weeks this winter. If you insist, we can discuss this further then. Right now, I have to find my boarding pass. If I may, madam, I have both of our boarding passes right here. Just a moment. They're gone. It was that boy. That boy stole them. <laughs> okay. So, as I'm not talking during the thing, the, uh, the dialogue, I'm actually, you guys can hear the like, cuff playing. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But, uh. Oh. Uh, Ashley's car. game where you bounce the ball and you have to collect as many blood for the ball to the ground. I don't understand that game. <laughs> I really don't. Here. There. That's not a baseball bat. What is that? It's an airbrush. Brush. Thermos.
efficient right there. And the next one. Alright, cool. Utility knife. Thanks. I thought I got the magic. Okay. 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 Uh, baggage. Little boy. Did you steal some papers from that man over there? What? I never did nothing! What's your name? George! George. That's a pleasant name. I don't want to hurt you, Georgie, I promise. Why don't you just give me the papers back and we'll leave it at that. Get stuffed, lady! <laughs> oh my god! Why? Where the case his... looks like it's missing a piece. Where are this kids? I believe that crate is full of cigarettes bound for the new world. It looks tightly sealed. George, get out of that car this instant! No! You can't make me! I only want to speak to you properly. What if I gave you a present? Would you like that? Got any cigarette cartons? No, and even if I did, I wouldn't give them to a little boy. I'm convinced they're not good for you. What I want cigarettes for? I want the little cards will come in the packages. I've got almost 50 already. I'm going for a full set. Okay. Oh, I do have a crank. No, that won't. Shut up. Like a charm. I'll just grab the cards out of the cartons before anyone notices the mess. I don't know why it's so slow to load. I, I don't. should do the trick. George can't possibly have all of these. I love this game. I don't know. It's just so much nostalgia. Oh, so much nostalgia. Look at this. I feel like I'm really on the, like, brings up memories. I feel like I'm really on the Titanic back in 1912. It's so nostalgic. <laughs> Here you are, George. Now, can you return what you stole, please? What I want with a bunch of lousy papers. The other ones what took them. The other one? The other one there. The lady. I saw her pick up the papers while the old bloke was busy beating on me. But pay close attention to what the characters have to say. In this case, it sounds like George thinks your mother might have have your missing boarding pass. Return to the second and third class boarding. Talk to her. Second and third class boarding. Give me back my boarding pass, mother. What? Oh. Oh, well, I, I did find a boarding pass, come to think of it. Uh, is it yours? Oh, dear me, I'm so very sorry. There you go. I can't believe you, mother. Give Montague back his as well. Well, I only found one. If, as you say, there was a second pass, um, it must have blown away. Oh, dear, oh dear. I'd best pop off at the ticket office and purchase another pass. And the ship's about to leave port. Well, I'll be going myself. Must take my medication. So long, Margie. Farewell. Have a good trip. I'll see you come winter. Right. Now that you have your boarding pass, all that's left is to return to first class boarding and join Robert. 
Boarding the ship. Okay. First class, guys. Okay. Ah, thank you, man. All appears to be in order. And good thing, too. It would have been a shame to miss out on such an historic voyage. Indeed. Historic boarding. Voyage. April 10th, 1912, noon. I fancy a bit of lunch. Care to dine at the Café Parisien? I'm not hungry at the moment. I'd just like to spend some time settling in if it's all the same to you. Not a problem. You know where I'll be if you need me. Okay. So he's going to dine at the Café. And I'm going to be here... ...settling in. What is this? It's an eagle. Seems the little fellow just doesn't want to let go of that perch. Right. Okay, so there's that. Okay. <clears throat> this is very historic though. It's very cool to experience like like see what Titanic looks like. And there's my reflection. Odd. It's a bird's nest. But there's nothing in it at the moment. Is it a real version of that? It looks pretty real. I think it's a decor. It looks de real, but I don't know. Who would put a bird's nest up there? I don't know. My stateroom. This is my stateroom. Why do we have two separate staterooms? Wow. My fingers are not quite... <laughs> ah, yes. I'd forgotten about this false bottom. I can't for the life of me remember what I stored there. Lipstick, apparently. Okay. That means we're done with that. We got, we got the lipstick. Here, got the false bottom. I've never actually seen a uh, false bottom on the um, back of the table. Go up over here to this bird. I can't do that. Why? Seems the little fella. I got it. Don't worry about the perch. There. Bronze Eagle, down here. God. When is the elegance? God. No, that won't. Shut up. I can't do that. Shut up. Odd. Okay, I got a bronze eagle. Let's go to the galley. Actually, I'll pay first. Ah, you've arrived. I ordered without you. I didn't think you were coming. That's quite all right. I'm not feeling well anyway. I've no appetite at all. Perhaps you just need to get your sea legs. Might take a while, but do try and act yourself by this evening. We'll be dining with the captain. Got it. We're dining with Jay. No, Captain Edward John Smith, huh? Yeah, we're dining with Captain Edward John Smith, huh? Gotcha. You guys don't know, I'm gonna be going through. I'm gonna talk a lot of history about Titanic while we play. 
Uh, the captain's, yeah. The captain's name is Edward John Smith. Uh, he was actually, this was his last voyage before retiring, so he went down with the ship like a captain should. Like any respectful captain, they always go down with the ship. Um, I picked up a bracelet, didn't I? I tried. I touched that bracelet, didn't I? I did. I touched the bracelet, but whatever. <laughs> Bell, the hanger. The hanger. Um. Dom. Dom, no. Pass it. Who's grilled cheese? Fireworks. I'm sure I passed that more than once. Can opener. Telescope and whale. Oh well. Ah. I don't know how many of you guys drink coffee, but oh, oh, it's drawing on the back of the chair. Nice. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like yeah, it's just a hit out game, but like still, it's pretty damn close to the look, look of the Titanic. Beautiful. Guys, this is how the Titanic looked back then. Oh wait. No. There's something to be there. Is that? Feeling any better? I'm surely on the mend, but still a bit wonky. We'll snap out of it already. We're meant to remember this journey for something other than your delicate nature. Wow. Why did you marry him? <laughs> Why'd you marry him, Margaret? <laughs> Come on, Margaret, you can do better. <laughs> I can understand, like, if it's anything like financial wealth from the movie, I guess I can understand, but. Come on, Margaret, you can do better. <laughs> you can definitely do better, Margaret. <laughs> Hill. Is the fountain pen part of it? No. What did you pick up? A glass? Who's the ice pick? Is that not a spoon? Or no, it's a ladle. I thought that was a spoon. A male symbol. Hm. Or fe- No. No, that's a female symbol. Sorry. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it's a fe that's a female symbol. The male symbol is like uh has a circle. The male symbol doesn't have the circle. I think it's like a cross and then it has it goes down and it has like it's like arrow. It's, yeah. Let me look it up. Let me look it up really quick. Actually, no, you know what? This no. No, we're not looking that up. This is about the Titanic. Forget about that. This is about the Titanic, right? We're only looking up Titanic information. That's all we're looking up, guys. There's an anchor. Ah. Sorry. Peaches. Yeah, there. Cheese reader. Garlic, huh? That's a chef's hat. Garlic! Any vampires on? No. No, this is serious. It's meant to be eerie serious. Sorry, guys. I, I, I'm used to joking, but like, it's meant to be serious. Come on. Right. Oh my God. Everyone tells me I should get Twitch. Like, but like, I want. Like, here's the thing. I want to, but like, I do not know. How, I do not understand how it works. I'm, I'm not one to understand how it works. Um, there's a squid. Cool. I got a spoon. Oh my god, you're gonna hear me saying amazing or beautiful a lot. Because this is absolutely breathtaking. I really feel like I'm on the Titanic. Like back in 1912. Okay. I'm in no mood for a proper lunch with Robert, but a boiled egg might hit the spot. Too bad reaching into that water would scold my entire arm. Why you do this? 
this. Don't worry, I got the egg. Going back to our state room. Why do we have two separate state rooms? Like that's I mean I can understand. They're not very close to the married couple, are they? Like there's some married couples on the ship. There's some married couples on the ship that are like What have we here? A secret passage? I'm an inquisitive kind of girl. Let's see where this leads. Escape, skip movie. I'm actually watching the movie on my, uh, my media player right now. The actual movie. I'm Dean Tavaloris, and you've entered my private sanctum. One that I designed into the plans from this ship's very inception. You designed this ship? Well, not exactly. I was employed as an assistant shipwright. I was placed in charge of all the less glamorous aspects of shipbuilding. Plumbing, cargo holds, engines, that kind of thing. Ah. So you slipped in a little private stateroom for yourself, and now you're a stowaway on your own ship. Is that it? What I have built here is a network of halls between halls, that I may bear witness to history in the making. I silvered mirrors on several decks so that I can see out, but nobody can see in. To each his own, I suppose. I'll be leaving now. Most certainly. Oh, but you cannot leave the way you came in, I'm afraid. One-way door. I should have guessed as much. So how do I get out of here? Down the second hallway, there's another mirrored door which opens into the first class partner. Just try not to be seen leaving or we'll both end up in the stockade. I'm just looking, I'm looking up something. I'm looking up uh, to see if Dean Tavalors had anything to do with the history of Titanic. He did not. There was. I looked, believe me. Dean Tavalores is a is a mo motion picture designer. He did he did the storyboard for like the movies like Godfather and stuff like that. So he he had nothing to do with the design of Titanic, guys. That was Ismay. No, that was J. Bruce Ismay and Thomas Andrews, I believe. Yeah. Do you see them in the movie more than once? I think I see some matches under there. If I'm going to be walking around in these tunnels, I'll need a lot of them. Right.
That should do it. If I end up needing more than this, that will mean I've really lost my way. Right. Yes, I see you staring at me. Why are you wearing glasses inside? It's very, you cannot, like, it's not bright. It's pretty dim, actually. Oh. No, Dean Tellers has nothing to do with the shines of shit. Ooh, using the mouse or keyboard, huh? be the door Mr. Tavalouris was talking about. There are some people standing on the other side, so I can't use it. I could probably make out what they're saying to each other if I tried. I'll try first, but... Maybe if I put my ear against the mirror. But of course, it never came to pass because the... What was that? Did you see that? See what? I swear I saw some motion behind that mirror. That man could see me when I got close to the mirror. I'd best not try that again. as if there's a section of pipe missing.
if this is the right way or not, but... Oh yeah. It is. There we are. It looks as if there's... Section of the pipe is here, I got it. It's a ventilation shaft. Sounds like there is a fan behind these grates. Now I have all the... I'm going to go back to the Overlook really quick. That opened the valve. It looks as if... There's another piece of the pipe missing? That closed the valve. No. Open the valve. Really? That closed the valve. I closed the vent. That opened the valve. I've routed the steam into the next room. Okay. I closed the vent. I opened the vent. The valve. Oh wait, that is steam and then... That closed the valve. That opened the valve. I've routed the steam into the next room. Okay. It's a ventilator. No, it's not. That opened the valve. I closed the vent. I opened the vent. I know I opened the vent. Thank you. Where? How do you... I closed the vent. the valve. That opened the valve. That looks like one of those newfangled smoke and heat detectors. Sounds an alarm when the temperature gets too high, or if the room floods with smoke, heaven forbid. I recognize this crate from the dock. It's got a lock on it. But randomly guessing at the combination would be fruitless. Right. I've done all I can at the moment. I closed the vent. I opened the vent. There's no valve here. Is it that opened the valve? The steam fogged up the mirror. Maybe now I can get close enough to listen to their conversation without being spotted. It's a priceless mummy of the Pharaoh Menkau Ray. That's why it's secured with a combination lock. I used my birth date as the combination. The month, the day, and finally the year. That's probably not a smart thing to tell me. I'm psychic, you know. I could easily guess your birthday. I don't see how that matters. If you're truly psychic, you'd know the combination regardless of whether it was my birthday. March 21st. <laughs> not even close. Right. But the month's got an A in it. Or an E. Actually, no. Uh, forgive me for saying so, but you're not very good at what you do. I will tell you that if you take the number of letters in the month times itself, you'll get the day. Tut tut! Say no more, I have it sussed. So, what year were you born? That's an impertinent question to ask a lady. Nevertheless, my lack of confidence in your ability is such that I would gladly part with that information. I was born in 1867. Okay, so 1867, okay. Here. Oh, yeah, 
Mann. Stay. Okay, let me concentrate. No A or E in the month. The number of letters in the month times itself gives you the day. Ah, born in 67. Definitely spinster territory. Not that it matters. I mean, you're definitely a Libra. Or maybe a Sagittarius. And you do this for a living, do you? Okay. You were Sagittarius. Six oh seven. Okay, so I, I got the time. I figured it out. One six oh seven. Friday, now that I have a little more information, let's see if I can decipher the combination to this lock. One six oh seven. Got it. Told you guys. A sarcophagus. It looks thousands of years old. I think I'll hang on to the shroud that was covering it. I can't do that. Close the valve. That opened the valve. I closed the vent. I've routed the steam into the next room. That set off an alarm. Excuse me for interrupting. Oh, not at all. It's just that the heat sensor in hold number four went off and the captain thought you should be alerted. Hold number four? Men Cal Ray is in hold number four. I've got to be sure it's okay. Excuse me, both of you. At last. I'd better sneak out while I can. About an hour and a half later from when we left. And we're already out at sea. Ah, Mrs. Ashley, I've found you. I witnessed an event below deck a short time ago which I thought would be of interest to you. Pray tell. Well, I was endeavouring to check in some of Mr. Ashley's valuables with the ship's purser when I chanced to see a middle-aged woman arguing with a steward. She was demanding to be allowed up to the first-class cabins. Please don't tell me it was my mother. I'm afraid it was. The schemer. She had your boarding pass, after all. I need to find her and have a word. You said the steward escorted her back to steerage. Yes. 
However, I'd imagine they would be no more inclined to let a young, upper-class woman down to steerage than they would allow your mother up here. Then I'll simply have to find a way to sneak down. I don't recognize that game you're playing. Might I ask what it's called? I haven't the slightest idea. That fool psychic Yannick said that if I wished to get a proper reading from him, I had to first separate his spirit deck into two separate chakric spheres. Spirit deck indeed. Did he tell you how? Oh no, that would be too easy. He gave me this temporal oracle, which I might add looks exactly like a poorly made pocket watch, and said the hands would guide me. The fool. Would you care to give it a try? I can't make head nor tails of it. Yes. All right. I have a strategy guide here on on my phone. That's confusing. I just have a park sign. No. Really? Really? We're doing this? This is very confusing. <laughs> God's sakes, got it, never mind. Now the hour hands point to three.
should all reset the puzzle. Second one. I'm gonna reset the puzzle, guys. Let's try to reset the puzzle. I couldn't take her only tea cake. I'm not trying to take her. I couldn't take her. I'm not trying to. I couldn't. I'm not. Hello again. Care to give the cards a go? Yes. All right. God, I'm not trying to do tea cake. I'm just trying to get to the game. Okay. So reset. All right. Cool. All right. Where's the seven? No, oh, seven of hearts. I need seven of hearts. Where the hell is Seven of Hearts? What? Ah. Where's the Seven of Hearts? Changed. Jack, you use. Okay, 11 is Jack. Of course I do. Eleven, that's a jack again. <laughs> one at the top. One, they want the ace. That comes on top two. Oh, this is guys. Five, they want it top. Oh god, this is so easy now. They want a, it's a four, top. Eleven bottom. And finally. Ten. Let me take a quick look. You did it! Thank you so much. It seems so elementary in hindsight. I'd better go find Yannick, which won't be difficult. He calls himself a medium, but I'd say he's more of a large. <laughs> Anytime, Odette. Good luck. <laughs> Odette left her tea cake behind. I'm sure she won't mind if I put it to good use. Right. Mrs. Ashley, I trust your day is going well. As well as can be expected, thank you. I've nothing to collect. Mrs. Ashley, I As well as can be expected, thank you. Yeah, I just... Where to, ma'am? F-deck, please. I am sorry, ma'am. F-deck is for third-class passengers only. up here. I didn't do nothing, and you can't prove that I did. Oh, really? I'm not saying you did. You didn't make this mess. Oh, no. Someone took me favorite book. Went right off of it. I ain't going nowhere till I get it back. Okay. Me 
book ain't there. Already checked. Best look someplace else. Hey. Why do I have to look for it? <laughs> I don't understand why I have to be on the for it. Not exactly sure. Why I have to be the one to look for it. It's a tub full of life jackets. Hopefully we won't have any use for them on this trip. Tub full of life jackets, yeah, we do need life jackets. Like, granted, yeah, nobody knows. Boyd and Titanic, nobody at first knows about the, uh, disaster. scene where Rose is about to jump off the back of the ship. You cannot help but pause the movie and read the sign. It's like it said, uh, notice this vessel has triple screws. Keep clear of the blades. Like, what blade? You mean the propellers? Wait, why? In case someone wants to take a rope and bungee jump and jump down to the propellers like, let's see how close we can get without killing ourselves. Like, no. I don't know why that has to be noticed there. About that. Titanic. As historic as it was, that, that is one law on the Titanic that did not make sense to me. <laughs> or one rake. Looking for a rake. I'm so tired right now. to clean up this mess before you run off to read? Marvelous. Gets what he wants and off he goes. Guess I'll have to clean up. Okay, I got a visual here of what it's supposed to look like. Okay. I got a visual.
There, snug as a bug. Oops, a library card fell from one of the books. I'll hang on to it for the moment. God, library cards again. Bus lounge. So I guess, yeah. I I can't do that. So our characters are members of the third third class. Our member, our character is a member of the first class. This should help me learn which buttons get pressed. How do you not see the sugar? Button? Could you bring me my coat, please? Of course, Mrs. Ashley. Wait here. I won't be a moment. Mrs. Ashley, begging your pardon, I can't seem to find your coat. Oh, not a problem. Montague must have collected it already. Thank you for looking. My pleasure. Let's see what required such impenetrable protection. Ten pieces of women's clothing. Gotcha. Though, even for back in the day, women's clothing, like, despite whether being uh, first class or third class, women's clothing were still pretty damn stylish. But I actually have a dress. It's behind me, actually. I was wearing it yesterday. Um, I don't, I'm not wearing it now. I'm wearing regular clothing. But um, I was wearing it last night, and it actually does look like it's from that century. I was looking from like 1912, so. No. It's pretty old. I, I clicked that. It didn't let me have it. Alright then. I mean, I did click that, guys. You saw me hit that. Now, let's see what looks good. Or more accurately, bad on me. Alright, guys, I gotta dress her up. of style is second to none. I like the boots actually. The boots actually look more. Just actually, I'm gonna do this first. Wow. It must have thought it was a dead animal. Which is just about what it looks like now. Where to, ma'am? F deck, please. Of course. Bam. Got it. Yeah. I played this game before. I have to. You have to. When you go there first, you have to tatter up the outfit. So I look like you're from. Hello again, George. Say, do you remember the lady back at the dock who took the boarding passes? Yeah, but wish I hadn't. She keeps telling me what to do. She ain't me mum. You ain't me mum neither. Why do you want to know? She's my mother and she's the most important thing in my life. What's in it for me? Well, what could I possibly do for you, George? I lost me game. Dropped it somewhere around here. If you can find it, I'll help you. Your game? What does it look like? 
What type of game? You hold it in your hand and try to get these little balls to go into the little holes. It ain't no bigger than a cigarette carton. Okay, I'll look. I'll look around. God. Fork. Fork, um... say that in history a lot of people lied about um, a lot of people lied about the Titanic passengers the third class passengers on the Titanic being trapped down below no guys they were locked down below because like you know women and children first first class second class third class in order so like they were locked down below most of the passengers that died on the Titanic were of third class Isidore and Ida Strauss, the uh, Strauss, the old couple in the bed in the movie. In the movie, they're the old couple that are holding each other in the bed. Um, I can understand them being for third class. They were, they were rich, but they wanted, they took third class tickets because they didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to like, like, wave their money around. They didn't want to, you know, seem stuck up and like. Like, oh yeah, we have money, we can do whatever we want. No, they didn't want to. Um, but they're actually the couple that owned uh, Macy's department store. They're really, like, that was really sweet. Uh, like, they're a really sweet couple, apparently, from what I read. Because they gave uh, every employee of theirs 
like very well, like very wealthy Christmas bonuses. Very, like it was amazing what they did for their customers, their employees. Like that was like very nice of them. I can only imagine how like their customers. Okay, I would like to quickly. I would like to quickly uh talk about the third class. <laughs> This is the third- so this is third class, guys. Third class. I'll give them the equipment storage. But third class passengers? Third class passengers did not have a swim pool. Third class never had a swim pool. They didn't have a swim pool. No. First class was equipped with swimming pool, Turkish bath, uh, squash court, stuff like that. They did not have a swim pool. I guess the Turkish bath and um, the swimming pools and all that were like d far below deck. Because they were one of the first things that were flooded with water. Uh, we're gonna put this over first. Thanks for the golf club. Titanic is big, but surely not big enough for a golf course. Perhaps it is used merely to hit practice balls into the sea. Right. Probably. <laughs> I've spread the wrapper over the writing surface. Yeah. Yes, you did. Now we just need something to write with. Another lock. I'll need to find the combination before I can proceed. I got your combination. I need to use that in a different way. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I got your combination. Take the golf club, swing at it. <laughs> so the swimming pool, that's his game. Right there. There's the swimming pool. Uh, yeah. I can't fit my hands through the grate. I managed to hook a piece of coal with the head of the club. It's rather powdery. It's getting dust all over my hands. Equipment storage. This is the combination for the... Uh-uh. Lock. This is how you get the combination, so I don't need to actually look anything up. I'm so used to the inventory being down here. I guess that's somebody's locker combination. 21-15-3. Got it. Gotcha. was much easier than guessing at every possible combination. Right. God. Of all the games available here, I think fishing is most my speed. Hopefully no one will miss a single rod. Where is the fishing? Where can you fish in this ship? On the ship, is there fishing? Is there a fish somewhere? Let's game here. I had a feeling I'd be good at this. 
guys. I did it first try. Ah, oh, God, I am so good at these games. So much easier than having to skip it. Like, for the purpose of the playthrough, I'm doing, I'm doing the, um, I'm looking up the walkthrough on my phone for the purpose of the playthrough, just because, like, I don't want to skip it for you guys, then you'll just be confused on how to do it. So, for the purpose of the playthrough, I'm going to be doing that the entire time. What am I doing? What? God's name, am I doing? Mini game? Yes, Georgie, I believe this is your precious game. Why? You broke it! I did no such thing. He did! I, I had it? it all sold and everything! And he went and broke it! Georgie, I assure I, I you it was that way when I found it. Well, deal's off! And quit calling me Georgie! That's a baby name! Then quit acting like a baby. No! Fix it or no deal! Alright, let me take a look. I just fished out of a swimming pool, <laughs> which, by the way, third class does not have. <laughs> Last I checked, third class does not. Okay, another playthrough. Here we go. Mm Arrows in the following manner. Manner. Right, up, left, down, left, up. Oh god. Okay, so right. Up. Left. Oh, uh, what? Oh, left. Down. Right, up, left, down. Yeah. Left. Oh, oh, damn it. Down is left. Sorry. Sorry. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Up. Sorry about that. Right. Up. Left. Okay, it's solved. Gimme! Not so fast. Tell me where my mother is first. Fool me once. I'll do your one better. I'll bring her to you. Please don't be upset with me. I'm not upset at you, mother. I'm actually glad you're here. Oh, my little girl. I knew you'd see the error of your ways. Now wait just a minute. I didn't say anything about that. What you did was wrong, and meddling in my life is wrong. But I'm still happy to see you. Anyway, Margie, I don't want to fight. I've just had this bad feeling about you, about your marriage, about this trip. God help me, I cannot do otherwise. That is it may be, Mother, but I am my own woman. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to attend dinner with the captain. We can talk about this more in the morning. Right. The mother's interesting. I have nothing against them. 6 p.m. April. 10th April. God, that is a beautiful shot, isn't it? So beautiful. There's an iceberg. Are you all right? You don't look well. Is it obvious? I'm afraid I have a rather nasty bout of seasickness. Well, that's no great shakes. Come with me to the ship's hospital. Margaret, I simply cannot be struck down by something as common as motion sickness. It would appear weak. Then I'll get the medicine for you. Uh, you're a dear, Margaret. <sighs> Please hurry. I can't have the captain seeing me like this. Hello, my dear. May I help you? Oh, yes, doctor. I'm not feeling well at all. I think I have a touch of seasickness. 
you have anything for me? We do have a new pill that combats the more unpleasant effects. However, my prescription for you is a healthy amount of sea air. Why not take a stroll on the deck? You don't look so bad off. The truth is they're for my husband. He really is in bad shape. Well then, let me come see him. We'll fix him right up. No. No, he wouldn't like that at all. I'm sorry. I cannot dispense this particular medication without direct cause. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. All right. All right, so he... Come on, open that. Hello there. Nice night, isn't it? It may be, but yes, it is. There is a bell out. Right. It's, uh, the... It was clear, fun fact, it was clear the night the Titanic sank. Ver it's very clear, making it very hard to see the icebergs. you think it would be easy to see icebergs in a clear night. Well, no, because they couldn't, because the ocean was calm, they couldn't see if the ice, if the ocean was like, the, hitting something that, at the base. They couldn't see if the iceberg was hitting, like, if they're hitting like icebergs at the base. No. The ocean was very calm. So it's hard to see. Just a fun fact for you. You're a natural, Mrs. Lushan. Oh, hello. I recognize you from the elevator. My name is Vincent Rosetti. Yes. Off duty, are you? Right. Thought I'd take a few moments to instruct the beautiful Mrs. Duchamp on the finer points. I see. Would you care to give it a try? I might just do that. Thank you, Odette. It looks like somebody snuck a dessert off the cart. It's completely full except for one small space. Please, oh. Margaret. Shut up. I don't know what he's about to say, but Margaret, something about the seasickness. I don't know. I'm looking for a glass of water. Hot air balloon. Drawing one. Nice. Cinnamon bun. I imagine it's on a plate somewhere. Shrimp. <laughs> that was a common delicacy on that. For rich people. It was shrimp, sushi, and uh. Yep, on a plate somewhere. Knew it. Shrimp. Shrimp, sushi, and caviar were very common for whale. That was a killer whale. That was my favorite kind of whale. Find that fun fact about killer whales. Granted, yeah, this is about, supposed to be about Titanic, but fun fact, killer whales are actually dolphins. Bet you guys didn't know that. Killer whales are really dolphins. I'm gonna see how many of these places I can get through one day. Bug. We got a bug. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is, guys. I don't know where the bug is, but there's a press over here. It's a rhino. I am right now on my knees. Trying to get a better look at the screen. I'm on my knees right now. On my chair. I don't see a bug. Oh, here it is. Never mind. I say as I find the bug. Uh. Key. Oh, right here. Cool. I was on it. Shoes, I saw those. I did actually click on them, but do anything. And frog. Cool. Frog, frog, frog. Frog. There, right here. Yeah. Cool. I'm off my knees now. And I need to change position because my feet are going numb. There's that glass of water. Go to cold storage. I'm not sure what that's going to accomplish, but there you are. Now, what you want to do, you go out, 
right back. All that's left of my glass of water is a frozen disk of ice. I suppose as the water expanded, it shattered the glass. Fascinating how powerful something as simple as ice can be. Absolutely, yeah. That's the plot of Frozen. I guess, yeah. Ice is, ice is beautiful, but powerful. Ice is beautiful, though. Like, it, it sucks if you slip on it. What is that? What's your Alright. I forgot I had to pick another. Uh, drop more part? You want to aim for the front of the... Say, what kind of puck is that? One of my own. Don't you know, Mr. Rossetti, a lady should never be caught without her own shuffleboard puck. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to purposely get it off the deck. Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Would you like some tips? No, thank you, Mr. Rossetti. I'll manage fine on my own. As you wish. Check it out. Yeah. Nice. I got it right. I... You're purposely supposed to do that. Okay. Are you alright? Oh! It's my ankle. I can't walk on it. It, it hurts so much. Oh. You just wait right there. I'll fetch the doctor. Ma'am, as I've said, I'm quite busy here. But there's been an injury. One of the officers slipped and fell on D-deck. He's in quite a bit of pain. Oh, let me gather my things. Hurry, Doctor! Okay, he's gone. Score! He's gone! <laughs> we can do this. Okay, guys, our, our goal is deal. The space between the base and the door isn't wide. It doesn't fit. Got it. I know what I need. I need a pressure cuff. Where is that? Yes. Like, what? Sif. Sif guy. Mo mem. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I don't know how to pronounce that. I know what it's called. In. I call it blood pressure cuff. Like, that's basically what it is. That made the space between the base and the door slightly wider. Let me see if I can hook the latch. Aha! That worked like a charm. Okay. Let's do it. Ten pills. These are seasick pills. pills. Basically, because he wouldn't give them to us, give us the pills, we have to steal them. Basically. I'm again on my knees looking for the last pill. Is that it? No. What the hell, phone? Okay, phone. I thought that was a pill, too, but no. Uh, strawberry. Coloring. W. H. Smith's strawberry coloring. Some of these I can't help but read. <laughs> no. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Back there. I found it. 
motion sickness pills. Take two if suffering from nausea and headaches. That should do it. Okay. So we got two of them. Which is fine. Alright. Go to map. How's it going on open deck? Okay. Here you are, Robert. Take two, immediately. Thank heavens. I'm not too late, am I? I don't see the captain. No, no, you are just in time. Please, do sit. I am here. All may now relax. I see the captain has not yet arrived, but I predict he will do so forthwith. Nothing like going out on a limb, am I right? What sort of odds are you giving the sun rising tomorrow? Ah, the captain. <laughs> Greetings all. I'm so happy you were able to join me for dinner. Let us toast to this magnificent ship, our able captain, and to a speedy and uneventful voyage. Here, here. Uneventful? What does that even mean? Four days later? Okay, so this is April 14th. So this is the night of the sinking. Yeah. Okay, we're up to the night of the sinking. We're up to the time of the sinking. Or hitting. Or the strike. Iceberg! Right ahead! Icebergs are themselves nothing more than water. There's certainly nothing ostensibly threatening about them. Once you hit it. But in the end, it is the unknown which threatens us most. Who was that who just got up? Was the captain? I think. I think I couldn't. I could barely see. If you got. If you guys know who that was, just got up. Let me know in the comments. I don't. I think it was the captain, but. I don't what know. on earth was that? That sounded absolutely horrible. I must speak with Robert. I'll never get to sleep wondering what that noise was. See if that... Mm. Look out the window. The crank handle came loose. Oh well, this compartment could do with the fresh air. Okay. So we just open the... I think I'll leave my window open for a bit. Air the place out. Okay. Can't really go anywhere else but If mice. Robert's asleep, it would be difficult to wake him from out here. Why did he insist on separate cabins? Yeah, no kidding. Robert, are you in there? Why aren't you answering? I'm sorry to disturb you, Montague. Not at all, Mrs. Ashley. I was not yet asleep when I heard a rather disturbing noise coming from just outside. I'm afraid it spooked Bexley. He's pinched beneath the bed and will not come out. Montague, do you have any idea where Mr. Ashley is? I've knocked on his stateroom door, but there's no answer. Yes, Mr. Ashley was, well, rather soused, I'm afraid. He might have slept through the noise, or perhaps he simply didn't think it was worth rousing himself for. And you? Did you think it was worth rousing yourself for? I did indeed. Since I'm awake, I'm heading to the lounge. Might I bring Mum something back? No, thank you, Montague. If you happen across Robert, would you kindly tell him I'm quite anxious to speak with him? Of course. Although I wouldn't hold out much hope, Mrs. Ashley. I'm certain he is still in his bed. Perhaps you would best occupy your time conspiring to get his attention. Short of sounding the ship's alarm, I'm not sure what I can do. But I will try. Thank you, Montague. Okay. So now we have to try and get... Uh, now we gotta try and get Robert's attention. And I know exactly how to do that. So... Oh. It's a perfect fit. Right. Same window. Same type of window. I can just see into Robert's room if I lean out the window. I know what you're thinking. A leap is out of the question. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna jump over there, yeah. I, I get that, you know. We're going into the galley, or are we going into the musician's storage? Let's start the galley. Oh, the smell! Let's see if I can find something here Bexley might find appetizing. Ten sardines. Gotcha. One. Two. Three. Four. 
Cats love sardines. Five. Sardines. Okay. Monica's favorite. Look, Bexley, it's your favorite. Sardines. That's a good girl. A good boy. I meant good boy. Bexley the boy. Oh, Bexley. Hmm. I'm not sure if just Bexley alone will be enough to wake Robert. Perhaps I can make him a little noisier. All right. So let's go to the musician's storage really quick. We're done in the galley, by the way. Ooh. Musician's storage. We just get right into it. Nice. Musician's storage. Paddle. Padlock. What was that I just picked up? Can of something. Padlock right there. Morocco sit right center on the floor. Anvil. Eye. Drawing of an eye. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. <laughs> I hope it's a drawing of an eye. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's right there. Collar. Collar, that's what I need. The belt. The belt collar. The belt collar. It's a belt. I like a belt, but. Belt collar. Um. Propeller. Toy truck. Truck, Jack in the Box, and Jack O' Lantern. Oh, this is the musician storage where the uh, band. It's where the band's instruments are stored. The band who played all night. I'm pretty sure now, yeah, you can't go into the musician storage now. So, it's a gray, they're locked. Belled Bexley. Let's do it, Bexley! Oh god. <laughs> I feel so bad if this doesn't work though. Heave ho! <coughs> Let the havoc commence! <coughs> what the? Who let that blasted cat in here? Aha! The master has awoken. Is that. Is that blazing? Blazing the ship. Robert, are you awake? Oh, blasted cat. God, that How looks on so earth creepy. did he sneak into my cabin? Oh, he's a crafty one, no mistake. Did you hear that horrible noise a little while ago? Yes, it was awful. I almost threw him off the balcony. He has bells on his neck. What sort of fresh horror is that? No, I meant before that. You didn't hear a scraping noise? sounded like nothing I've ever heard. Margie, this is Titanic. What could possibly go wrong? It was probably a small explosion from one of the furnaces. Nothing to get riled about. Let the stokers handle it. Now, I've got to get to bed. Good night. We'll talk in the morning. Odd. That didn't reassure me at all. I think I'll go have a word with the captain. Perhaps he can set my mind at ease.
midnight right now. So now it's midnight. So the ice break hit 11.40. And it took two hours and 40 minutes for the... Captain, may I disturb you for a moment? Oh, Mrs. Ashley, we're a bit busy here. Well then, let me get right to the point. Have we had a collision? Mrs. Ashley, really, everything is under control. Rest assured that I will inform the passengers as soon as we have thoroughly evaluated the situation. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm We're very worried. Meet me in the sitting room in a moment, and I will explain. Okay. Sitting room? Now, I've only a moment, Mrs. Ashley. In truth, you were correct. We've hit something? I knew it. What was it? An iceberg. Are we going to sink? Mrs. Ashley, you have to leave this in the hands of the crew. We are trained to handle these events. Now, please, I must get back to work. Get back to work then. Yes, we did hit it. So we just got information that we did hit an iceberg. We got sure. I mean, we already knew. We as an audience know the story of the town. We got hit by an iceberg. Hmm. Not sure I understand this, but some of it looks pretty straightforward. Okay. How about I take it to, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dolores. Tavaloris. Mr. Tavaloris. Why do I take it to him? That work? The hell? Cause I don't, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> <coughs> Parrot. Right there. Parrot. Parrot palette. Parrot palette. Nice. <laughs> nice. Palette. Um, nope, that's not compass. That's compass. Trying to hide it, eh? <laughs> Very crafty. Number three. Very crafty trying to hide that egg and the seashell. Nice. Like, some of these hiding spots, guys. Like, they're amazing. Pen, I imagine it's on the desk or the floor. Do you think it's one place that turns out to be, like, somewhere you never expect it? Yeah, it's on the wall. How, does, how do you get stuff on the wall? Like, that's amazing. I guess that's what these ledgers are for. The wall book. I saw the book a few minutes ago, actually. Yeah, on the floor. Latch. Saw that. I don't know why you would chain the drawer like that, but okay. Envelope. Binoculars. That's what could have been useful to stop to see the iceberg before. Tinker. Thinker. Tinker. Thinker. It's a statue of a guy. Of a guy just sitting there going going like with his hand on his chin, like pondering the it. He's pondering the possibilities of what happened in the ship. I'm sorry, this is meant to be serious, I'm sorry. Oh my god, my freaking ear. There's nothing left to do here. Um. Oh, that's a macaroni. It's like, what? Marconi transmitting room? Marconi receiving room. Do I want the first class promenade? Where do I want? Where am I gonna go? Excuse me? I'm sorry, ma'am. You can't be in here. We're transmitting urgent communications. Oh. And what might those communications be? I'm sorry, ma'am. Confidential. Now I really must ask you to leave. Fine. Okay. This must be where Titanic receives wireless messages. Quite fascinating. Now, I know this machine was meant to receive messages from distant ships. I wonder if it would receive messages from this ship as well. Right. Yeah, this is the tele this is a telegraph, guys. It's for yeah, it is meant to see messages. This is what they use to send out the distress signal. I've nothing left to accomplish here. Okay. Try and go back to the city. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not sure I understand this. It looks straightforward. Got it. I need to use that in a... What? Fine, we'll go to the receiving room. We'll use it in the receiving room. How about that? Morse code. Morse code, so... No. I don't... I can't reach the steam whistle's pull cord. It's like a small kite. Okay, so that's a steam whistle. It's attached to the... I think it will sound an alarm or whatever. On the pump. This is where we were earlier when we were doing that. Eww, what are we doing? I've nothing left to accomplish. Okay. Okay, I tried that. It didn't do anything. I tried this. Oh! Never mind, found out. Did that. Okay. Let's see if I can toss the ring over that whistle. making skills alone. Let's see what sort of havoc this causes. Oh my! That was much louder than I expected. All hands on deck! All hands on deck! Oh, hello! You didn't just blow the whistle, did you? Of course not. A uniformed gentleman did. He went off, um, I don't know, that way. He didn't touch the whistle. Guys. There sure do seem to be a lot of unused pot. Yeah. Looking for vacuum tubes. Square. Five. Everything else there seems to be essential to the equipment in one way or another. I'd best leave it.
No. I... Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ, okay. Now that sounds interesting. If only I understood it. M-G-Y-C-Q-D-41-N-50-W? It would seem I've merely exchanged one code for another. 41 I North. bet Mr. Tavalouris could help me decipher this. 41 and he might know even more than the captain about the state of the ship. I'd best get to a mirror. Shut up. 41 North, 50 West. That, those coordinates, guys. How do I know that? I'm not stupid. Okay. Where's the ship? Are we dead now? What? What happened? Where's the ship? Where is the ship? What happened? Oh, Mrs. Ashley. I thought perhaps I had not seen the last of you. Do, come in. I'm not here to chat, Mr. Tavalouris. I'm here to get a straight answer from somebody on the state of this ship. Whatever do you mean? Is it possible you do not know? We collided with an iceberg not 20 minutes ago. The crew is in a frenzy. I didn't hear anything. Although I did wonder why we were reversing engines. Nobody aboard will tell me the truth about our situation. So I contrived to eavesdrop on the ship's outgoing wireless messages. But I can't make heads or tails of them. Do you think you might? This is a distress call. The captain believes the ship will sink. The iceberg must have breached several watertight containers. If that's true, the ship is sinking as we speak. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. If the ship is sinking, the bilge compartments will be the first to fill. There are several on this deck. Perhaps you could check on them while I do some more calculations. Yes, fine. Where are these rooms? Down the hall is the bilge assembly. It's a pump system that moves water between bilge compartments. From there, there are tunnels leading to each of the three main bilge holds. The squash court, the Turkish bath, and the third-class showers. Why those rooms? It's a question of volume, my dear girl. Those are the largest lower deck rooms aboard. Check all three and let me know if there's any water in them quickly. Okay. I can't get in there. It's completely flooded. Okay. The walls and floor are damp, but at least there's no standing water. Okay, we're in this Turk. This is a Turkish bath here. Uh, what you call it is the squash court is flooded. So, what's now? Okay, what am I looking for? 
fishing lure. Like I was gonna see. I thought I thought I saw something in the corner. I didn't know what it was. Like I was gonna see that. Third class showers. The walls and floor are damp, but at least there's no standing water. Um, yeah, there is. That looks like water, guys. That, it, what do you think that is? It's water. I should be fiddling about with anything until I let Mr. The squash court is completely flooded. I can't even go in there. The Turkish bath seems empty, but damn. Same with the third class showers. I see. It's worse than I expected. What can we do? Well, the first thing we have to do is stop this doomed vessel. I don't know why the captain is still reversing, but that will only hasten our taking on water. We must stop the engines. How can we do that? I have access to the main engine room from here. See if you can figure something out. Me? Why not you? I need to recalculate how much time we have left based on your bilge water observations. Just remember, even the most massive combustion engine will grind to a halt if the fuel has no oxygen to combust with. Find a way to clog the intakes. So I'm not exactly sure why. I guess he was out working on Titanic as well, maybe. I don't know. But I'm not exactly sure why they made him like a shipwright builder, even though in the move, in the, he was... Quite a mess. Let's see if there's anything here worth finding. I've done all I can. Okay, done all I can, got it. Where are we going after? Yep, this is the right place. Let's okay. see what this ridiculous looking contraption does. Right. 
So A is here, B is C. A right, B right. That must be the intakes Mr. Tavalois told me about. Perhaps I can find a way to block them all. I certainly hope Mr. Tavalouris was right. Okay, I just stopped the engines. The engines have been stopped! According to my calculations, we should remain afloat for an hour and a half. Do what you must to survive, Mrs. Ashley. If you need me, I'll be here. What? Aren't you going to make a run for the lifeboats? I think not. We do not have a full ship's complement, in case you were not aware. No, I will not waste precious lifeboat space with my own tattered husk. I shall remain here. Perhaps there's something yet I can do. Good luck, Mrs. Ashley. And you, Mr. Tavalouris. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Tavalouris is going to go down with the ship. Um, okay. April 15th, 1912, Most of the passengers are, as of yet, unaware of their fate. The air outside is clear and still. It is, to many, a seemingly ideal evening. Why does nobody see that? I'd like to think my choice to put my own family first wasn't cowardly as much as practical. A panic at this point would simply compound disaster. I struggled with this guilt. Oh. My foot is numb. I cannot feel. My- what the hell? I cannot feel my- Foot. Robert! I've been looking all over for you. You weren't in your room. Nor were you. Montague told me you were looking for me, so I went down to your room. Alas, my lady, she was not there. Robert, have you been drinking? Not nearly enough. In fact, the waiter has yet to return with my Bermuda highball. I wonder what's keeping him. It doesn't matter. Listen to me. We have to get to a lifeboat. Immediately. Margie, I love you. But you do have a rather alarmist track record. It's absolutely freezing outside. I'd much rather sip my drink inside if, in fact, they ever bring it to me. At the very least, let me show you what's going on below deck. You won't need to set a foot outside, I promise you. Please, Robert! I'm not going anywhere until I get my Bermuda highball. And I'm two sheets up, so the stairs are right out. So he's... God, he's staying good. Fine. Go to the starboard loading dock. Got it. Right off duty again, I see. Oh, hello again. No, no, not off duty. Just on different duty. We're having a problem with the port crane. It seems to be jammed. Starboard one's fine, but the port one? I was told unjamming it is the highest priority. That crane's used to lower lifeboats into the water, isn't it? What? No, this is merely a precautionary measure. Can't be too careful. Very well, live in denial. In any case, I need you to accompany me to the lift. I'm afraid I can't do that, ma'am. Strict orders. If I help you unjam the crane, will you take me where I need to go? Well, sure. And good luck to you. 
I can't budge it. He says sure because he doesn't believe I'll be able to do it. That is such a nice shot. Like, look at that. That's the iceberg, guys. Which is funny because, you know, we passed, even though when you sink, they, they pass the iceberg, so. That's the funny part about that. He says good luck to me because he doesn't think I'll be able to do it. <sighs> so. Which is fine. Where's the letter opener? I don't know. I know what a letter opener looks like, it's just a, you know. Don't- is that it? Yep. That was it. That was a letter opener. Moon, I guess it's the crescent moon. Usually is. What was that I just hit? Um... Bottle... I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bottle... Teapot. Teapot. Teapot! Teapot. Right, so it's all about crab right there. Bagel. Shoe. Though I have, there's a possibility of getting surgery on my knee. I don't want surgery on my knee, but there's a possibility I might have to get it just because my knee. If my knee was a meniscus tear a few months back, like last year, I got I teared my the meniscus on my knee, my right knee. So if that gets worse, I have to get surgery to get, remove it. So. Nor my lousy luck, I'll die at the operating table. So, there's a wrench. I thought I saw it, I didn't really know. I didn't know. I'm really hungry, actually. Let me take a look at the crane. Let me see what I need. Is this a port crane? No. Is this a port crane? No. Mr. Rossetti is right. Mr. Rossetti is Yeah. Mr. Rossetti Shut up. Got it. No. What do I do? Alright, what do I do? Go to the port supply. No. Mm -hmm. I don't 
crane grumbled to life. Perhaps now I can use the controls to move it. Don't worry, I'm going to shut up. Oh. Okay. That was incredibly confusing. Apparently, I underestimated you. You're hardly the first. Now, about our deal. Yes, of course. But I'm still under orders to begin unloading boats. I'll meet you at the elevator and send you to whatever floor you wish. But I must return here immediately after. That will be fine. Okay, first class. No, that won't work. For the highball. Bermuda highball. This line's on the glass, I guess. Okay. One Bermuda highball. I've half a mind to down it myself. Ah. Here's a blasted drink, Robert. Will you come to the elevators now? Mmm. Perfect. So be it. I will meet my lady there. If that will make her happy. The only thing that would make me happy at this point would be dry land. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much, but oh my god, still beautiful. E-deck, please. One of you will have to hold the door to prevent it from closing once you reach E-deck. Not to worry, garçon. I will disavow my good lady wife of any of her idle fantasies without leaving the comforts of the lift. All right then, E-deck. I hope you find what you're looking for. Funny. I hope she doesn't. <laughs> Uh, by the way, my good man, is there a bar on e deck? I hate you. <laughs> Seriously, Margaret, you can do better. <laughs> so you said you had to hold them. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. E. One minute later. What just happened? Robert, are you okay? He's still breathing. He must have hit his head when the elevator jerked to a halt. I need to find a way out of here. And I need to wake him up.
Right, the guy did say he had to hold the door, so yeah. Whatever. I'm gonna find the grand staircase. It's difficult to imagine all this will soon be on the ocean floor. Right. True. When merit is left, honor our rights. What an odd inscription. What does that mean? When merit is left, honor our rights? What does that mean? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter if I abscond with this. Welcome pineapple. I don't know what that means. So this is the clock, so the famous clock. This is the theme from the movie. It's like the scene from the movie, so... Honor and merit revealed through time. Absolute gibberish. So three. It says, move to hands for fuck for your clock sets. Three. Did not know what the ship said. Ah, oh, Mr. Tavalouris. Your cleverness never ceases to amaze. Are you kidding me? There's a secret passage in real- I'm assuming there's never a secret passage to the ways on the Titanic, by the way. It's just a thing made up for the game. I'm, I'm guessing there was never secret passageways. I don't think that clock moved. Ah! Oh, it worked! I'm in the shaft again. the hospital on call that just won't do it's locked that got some rather pent-up aggression out aggression against Robert seriously Margaret you can do better I like Margaret she's badass I like I really like Margaret she's awesome Okay, so this is from earlier. I, w I was here earlier. If you guys don't remember, I was here. We were here earlier. SDM, Spirit. Spirit of Heart Shorn. Oh. Uh. <sighs> oh my. Making you gasp for air. Isn't Interesting it? smell. It tickles slightly. What am I looking for? Whatever is in this. This smells like camphor. Quite cleansing for the sinuses. That smells like lavender. Oh dear, it's making me a bit woozy. Oh my, it smells a bit like nail polish remover. These wakes me up. This smells like camp. Whatever is in this box. Interesting smell. Oh, oh. There's nothing that. Why did it tell me to go there? If it's nothing left to do, why did it tell me to go there? So this is where I was earlier when I uh, had to use the blood pressure cup to open to break the door. It's like, okay. Tin can. There's a penny jar. Mm, gears. Chocolate. Cotton ball. Tweezers. Tooth. Nail clippers. Apple. That's not a recorder. Not a recorder. 
What is it? What is that anyway? Quarter. Okay. Light bulb. And bobber. Nope. Why am I looking? Why did I hit a top for a bobber? on the closet on the left. Okay, so use the one in the middle that you may you sneeze. The one that made me sneeze. What one smells more from me, man? This one? Interesting smell. No. Oh my. No. Whatever is in this bottle this smells one. strongly of mint. It's this one that smells like mint. It's this one. Heart shorn medicated cotton ball. Spirit of heart shorn. Okay. Or heart shorn. Maybe it's heart torn. I don't know. Heart torn or heart shorn. Maybe it's heart torn. I don't know. One of the two. It's heart torn or heart shorn. Hey. Robert? Robert, can you hear me? What happened Good, to wait. me? You hit your head. The elevator stopped pretty suddenly. Oh, Robert. I thought I might lose you. Don't be silly. Ah, my head is killing me. I think I need a drink. That's the last thing you need. What more evidence do you need that Titanic is in serious trouble? What? Little electrical malfunction, that's all. I think I'll take the stairs all the same, though. Am I right? Where are you going? Back to the lounge. It's above decks. If you're really worried about the ship sinking, you don't want to be down here. My mother, she's down in steerage. She's down in steerage. If we did that job on it. Whoa! Okay, the boilers just exploded. Oh boy. Just hold still. If you don't hold still, it will only get worse. Uh, I want me mom. Just what is going on here? This blighter George was down here goofing around instead of heading above deck. One of the port boilers exploded and the steam burned his leg up a treat. Doctor, is he going to be okay? Yes, yes, he's fine. But I need to dress his wound and he won't stop squirming about like an eel. Mom! There's nothing for it, ma'am. He's in too much pain. I need you to fetch some hot water. Very hot, mind you. If I'm to dress his wounds here, I'll need to be as sanitary as possible. Of course. I'll also need some liniment to dull the pain or he'll never keep still. Bucket. Go to the equipment locker. Equipment locker, right here. Okay, so the boiler. Why was he in the boiler room, though? Same place. Where? Where? What? What? Jacks as a child. We couldn't afford much else in the way of entertainment. I'll just hold on to them. Right. She poor? No, she's from. No, she's in the first class. She's not poor. She's rich. She's, she's in first class. She's rich. Mm -hmm. 
first class was for rich, second class was middle class, and third class was, uh, third class was, was uh, well, poor, but still glamorous. No, still not as bad. Like, they're so, like, they're lucky they were able to, they're lucky to even be on the ship, like, granted, yeah, you know. There's like, nothing that. Yeah, I got it. Where to? Staircase. For a second, why is there a flare gun in the, in the staircase? Match, flare. Where's the axe? A axe. What? Oh. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that. I guess if you right click, you can open the map without even touching the map. Unit flare is here. Yeah, that's, that would be it. I don't want to skip it now. What a response now. I don't know what that was actually. Where's watch owl? Where's watch bicycle front? Is that a real owl? Really? Both of it. Cool. Okay. Oh, it's one of the ones you pull it off and it lights. Pull it and you light. It lights, I guess. It's a broken fuse box. It looks as if several of the connections got knocked loose. Those jacks I found were metal. Maybe I can use them to bypass the missing fuses. Apparently. I'll figure this out. My god. Okay, let's start over here. There's one very far down here.
right? Right. Damn. How do we do that? So this is it turns out isn't even right at all. Okay, there. That one's done. Green's done. We're done with green. Blue. Got that. That's in place. There's one here. Is that ready? Yeah. Done. Okay, blue is done. Red. 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 Red being. We got the one. Where's this one? Here we are. Now there should be a nice steady flow of electricity. Cool. We got it. No, that isn't right. What? It's a shower of sparks. If we weren't rapidly sinking, I'd be worried about catching fire. Yeah. Why? Go to the boiler. The room underneath must be entirely flooded. one of the boilers powering Titanic. This one looks as if it might still function. I need to use... I've nothing left to accomplish. Let me go into it. Oh. Into the boiler on the left. Oh, zoom into the coal cart on the left. Sorry. It's full of what dustpan? Where did I get a dustpan? This could prove useful in giving me a source of heat. Okay, I know how to do this. If you do that, you go in here. Wow. How do 
I... Can I not pick it up? I wanted really hot water, so scalding. Yeah, the room underneath is flooded. I wanna get the hell out of there. This should calm him down some, but I'll still need some hot water to reduce the risk of infection. Yeah, I got the hot water. I got your hot water. There we are. How do you feel now, George? Like spitting! Now, George, the doctor was only helping you. You need to get above deck immediately. Quit playing about down here. Right. April 15th, then 12, 1 15 a.m. Okay. okay, so uh, they're closing the boiler room door. Um, currently. Men Cow Ray, the mummy, don't, don't you see? It's his curse. He's visiting an ancient score, settling it once and for all for all the raiders who looted his sacred tomb. It's coincidence, Odette, nothing more. Now please, come with me above deck. We need to get to the lifeboats. It doesn't matter. You can't trick the ancients. We're all doomed, no matter what we do. You are impossible. Let me have a look inside that crate. for drumstick. God, where is it? Um. There's. God, I love my nail polish color. What does this even do? Vile and vile. Vile. Vile and vulnerable. Now this looks interesting. Yes, that's the file and vulnerable. Vile it's said to contain the true spirit of Men Cal Ray and is reported to be unbreakable. I bet I could break it. Robert always said I had a knack for breaking things. You could certainly try. If the curse doesn't frighten you. Okay. For the last fucking time. The ship is not cursed. Oh, actually. Yeah, actually, no. You know what? It probably is. Ten times one, it probably is. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear there. I didn't mean to curse there. Ten potatoes. Done. That was easy. Click anywhere to continue.
Up the steps. Okay. Looks like this is the water from here. Wow. The ship is actually slanted right now, guys. That was really cool. That looks really cool. Okay. Perhaps there's something I can use here. No, that isn't right. No. I think I need to use something here. Dumb way. <sighs> I. What? What? What am I doing? Clip. I did. You saw I me. can't do. What? The dumb waiter is. Right. I need to. <laughs> then why isn't it working? I need to. What is happening? Why? What do I need to do now? Hey, Dumb Raider, this is how it'll go. I did. Oh, I need to use the. Okay. The Dumb Raider is. Yeah. Okay, now what? Did that okay? Okay, so we go back. We do that. We go to the top. Put the uh, the dumb waiter. Yeah. Okay. I see, okay, I see it. Okay, I see what I'm doing. I got it. I, I got it, guys. Figured it out. Where's the dumb waiter right here? One vat of potatoes going down. I'm starving. I don't know if it, I hope that my, the, my stomach growling does not end up in the audio. If the audio is even recording. Okay. That. What a racket! Ah, the file wasn't so invulnerable after all. Let's see what they were so intent on protecting. It's a Rubik's Cube. Are you kidding me? It's a Rubik's Cube. It's an Egyptian Rubik's Cube. Are you, are you absolutely kidding me? This...
clever people, those ancient Egyptians. There's a parchment inside. It's covered in hieroglyphs. Shame I'm not an Egyptian scholar. Just give it to Odette. Okay, this will end the chapter. Odette, can you translate this for me? You open the file? Yes. It was difficult, I admit, but clearly not impossible. It says, to those who thought they captured the essence of Menkau Ray, know that you are fools to a man. You possess nothing more than the dressed up corpse of a chamber servant. Menkau Ray's true burial chamber remains forever hidden from the eyes of the living. But that means... To put it lightly, this isn't Menkau Ray after all. But the curse! To put it lightly, Poppycock. Oh, how can I be expected to process two paradigm shifts in one day? You aren't. Just come with me, please, Odette. Can we leave now? No. April 15th, 1912, 1.30 Montague, what are you doing here? Ma'am, Robert sent me to look for you. He is worried and wishes you to join him above deck. Have you seen my mother? Yes. In fact, she was looking for you as well. The lines are crossed, as it were. Oh, that's fine. We can meet them both above deck. I beg pardon, Ma'am, but it seems this method of egress has been blocked. We have to find a way through this gate. I may know someone who can help. You two stay here. I don't want us all getting lost trying to find each other again. Did you hear that? It sounded like a woman screaming for help. We must go to her aid. Montague, while I appreciate your chivalry, please do not forget the lady in your care already. Of course, ma'am. How could I forget you? I don't mean me, Montague. I mean Miss Duchamp. Hey, I don't need a guardian. In fact, it could be argued that I should be the scout in this situation. Why, my experience in the plains of Hadar alone... Odette, please. Moments ago, you were under the delusion that you were cursed to drown by a mummy. <laughs> Got you there. <laughs> Wine cellar? Apparently. Oh. Sorry, don't go to the hospital. Oh! Is someone there? Yes. Yannick, is that you? Oh, my prayers were answered. I thought I was left here to die. Was that you screaming? Uh, I was singing a song of distress. It worked. Yes. Uh, well, there remains the matter of that fire. A and my leg. What's wrong with your leg? I, I think it's broken. I was trampled by ragamuffins. I came here to find a doctor, but who knows where he's off to. Okay, I've got the picture. Let me see what I can do to help you out. That was him screaming, he's not like a woman. <laughs> okay then. Wine cellar. Wine cellar, wine cellar. Go to the collapsed wine rack. It folds neatly into a thin plank. Quite convenient, really. Mm. And left is an object, right? No. This ivy looks real, but it's actually made of cloth and wire. What's it called? Fake. Oh, it's called fake ivy. Sorry. Fake ivy. And click on crates. The servers here should be more careful when they uncork the wine. It seems they just let the corks lie where they fall. I can't abide that. Harder just because they're much harder to see. They're like 
Oh my god, what the hell? They're much harder to see. Corks are pretty tiny. No, corks are pretty small. They're not very big. I'm on my knees again. Actually, I'm gonna stand just so I can see it better. Oh, I'm actually standing up. Mm. <laughs> I'm standing up right now. I'm trying to find my last cork. Done. Oh, that hurt. Not enough cork to build a lifeboat out of, but perhaps I'll find some use for them. Not enough cork. <laughs> Pretty sure that wouldn't sink. That wouldn't uh, float anyway. So, actually, no. Yeah, I would. Never mind. Wine I don't know much about wine, but it's clear to me that these aren't in the proper order. Let's see if I can fix that. This is our solution. This one? Ah. What? This one goes on the end. Um, that one's actually smart. Find where it is. That looks more orderly. And look at this poor fellow down at the end. Old, almost empty, improperly stored. Surely vinegar by now. I can't stand to see him suffer. I'm taking him with me. Which one? This one. Okay. We, go, we took the one. Uh, second from the left. Second bottle from the left. Yeah, and yeah, oh, still five. All five bottles are on the uh, counter. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Um. Vinegar. I have vinegar. Go to the typesetter's office, okay? Typesetter's office right here? Yeah, like, look at this. This is genius. Pick up the blank paper. Hidden object scene. God, ladybug. Hey. Sickle. Compass. Okay, the writing compass. Okay. I, th I was looking for the the, the lock, the one that tells you where you are. Uh, no, they wanted a writing compass. Oh god! And right now I am standing up again, trying to find everything. Uh, it's actually much easier to see too. Shovel. I saw the bird a minute ago. Pretty sure it's drawing. Can't remember. It's an airplane. Hmm, drawing in the floor there. Bird. I don't know, it's a statue. I, yeah. I couldn't remember. I saw a bird resembling something, but I couldn't remember what it was. Is that pepper shaker? <laughs> pepper mill? Looks like a smoking pipe and. Either. Oh, 
there's a screwdriver. Smoking pipe. I thought that was smoking pipe. I don't, I don't know if it's a, I think it's a pepper mill, but I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's a pepper mill. I said I was, a, I was talking about this pep mill over here and then I start my mom with pep mill. Apparently. I'm looking for the pipe. Okay. I don't know if I can, if it's around. Where is it? Do you guys see a smoking pipe? I don't see a smoking pipe. that? Is that helpful? Because I the thing does not show this one. Oh god. It mixed in, I didn't see it. Wonderful. If you guys hear creaking in the audio, it's my chair. It's very old. Is this the communication stream again? Desk to trigger a puzzle. Yeah. Not now. Sorry. I need to use that in a Sorry. different way. Not now. What? I can't do. I can't do. Sorry. Now is. Okay, sorry. Jeez, what do you want? The ink made marks on the page. <laughs> now there are more le <laughs> I am available to you from noon to three and from nine to midnight. Ah! Now the picture is complete. It reads, I am available to you from noon to three and from nine till midnight. For whatever that's worth. What does that mean? Go to the potato kitchen. Oh. Leg and wrench. Not now. But Shut up. That's the right idea, but there's Shut up. Uh -huh. They are happy. I poured the vinegar into the mason jar. I see that. The corks are all floating on top of the vinegar. If I give that a good shake, the baking soda and vinegar will mix, making a right mess. I must be sure to handle this with care. Makes your fire extinguisher. Got it. Okay, guys, so make sure fire. We got everything we need for yawn. We got the meter stick, the flat, and the fake ivy. Flat wine, collapsed wine tray. Okay, we got wa collapsed wine track, wine rack, sorry, collapsed wine rack, meter stick, and ivy. That's what we need for makeshift, um, uh, splint. If I had just waited a little longer, the ocean would have put this fire out for me. What? Why do you say that? 
Is there something wrong with the ship? You know, for someone who prides himself on his foresight, you possess remarkably little. The ship is sinking. Can we get out of here now, please? Yes, of course. I mean, no, we can't. I can't even stand. My leg is in bad shape. You're impossible, you know that. Let me see if I can cobble together some sort of crutch or splint. You know, for someone who claims his leg is in bad shape, he does sound remarkably happy. It's weird. Very weird. <laughs> At last! We must make haste. Of course. By the way, you're welcome. I shall thank you properly once we are safely above deck. Fair enough. Second class characters, got it. Second class characters. It appears to be locked. Do you think? Mirror. door solved Hello yet again Mr. Tavel Lewis we're trying to get above deck but someone has locked the gate outside the mirror door at the second class stairwell Yes that was me Why on earth would you do that Why? I didn't think there was anyone left down here and I, I didn't mean... want people coming back down for their favorite hair brush or something equally trivial You shouldn't be down here either you know Women and children first. I'm looking for my mother. Not a hairbrush. Yet still, in a situation like this, you have to trust your mother's intelligence will guide her to the boat deck, just like yours should guide you. I know, it's just... we didn't part on the greatest of terms. Look, here's the gate key. Take it, and take my advice as well. Get to the boat deck post-haste. Yes, sir. Thank you. No. <laughs> April 15th, 1912, 1.45 a.m. Was it 2.30 a.m. that it just turned Wow. 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 Scared living daylights out of me. Mrs. Ashley, I'm glad to see you are all right. When I saw your husband come by without you a few moments ago, it was cause for concern. You saw my husband? When? Minutes ago. He headed towards the fore of the ship with much intent. He seemed upset. How about my mother? Have you seen my mother? Ah, she went aft about ten minutes ago. Thank you, Vincent. Where are we going? There's all these people here. So they changed to fix the clock. They put the clock back. Talk to Vince. Why is George in it? Oh my god, George! First class promenade. Mother! Margaret! I've been searching for you. Where have you been? There was a terrible explosion. It knocked me flat on the ground. When I got up, all this oil was flowing from the chimney. I can't cross it. It'd take me overboard. Don't you try either, dear. Save yourself. Right? Alright, gymnasium. George? What are you doing here? Punching! Yes, I can see that. You do that well. But you need to get to a lifeboat. This isn't the time to play. They wouldn't let me in here before. Now they said stay here. What? Someone told you to stay here? Who was that? Man in them shippy clothes. Said another skip would be coming for me. When did this happen? A couple minutes ago. 
Fine by me, I says. I'm punching. This won't do at all. I must tell one of the crew. Why would you tell the kid to stay there? Go to the wheel room. Okay, wheel room. No. Captain sitting room, grand staircase. Ma'am, you shouldn't be up here. You should be in a lifeboat. You haven't seen my husband, have you? Mr. Ashley? No, I haven't. Not for some time. If you do see him, please tell him I'm looking for him. I will do that, ma'am. I... Uh, yes? I wish you'd never found your boarding pass. Thank you, Thomas. For Andrew? Mrs. Ashley, you must listen. I know, lifeboats. But there's a child in the gymnasium and he won't leave. He said he was told to wait in the gym until a crew member came to get him. A child? Eight, at most. Blast. I'd best fetch him. Please, don't disturb the captain while I'm gone. He's in his sitting room trying to strategize a way out of this mess. Yes, that would be best. Alright, I won't go to I won't see the captain. I won't go to see the captain. Okay, I don't need to go anywhere. Uh, where am I going? Zoom into the desk once it disappears. These Remember keys that. must have fallen from their pegs when Titanic lurched. I'm sure I could find a use for at least one of them. Okay, we're looking for the keys. Okay. I'm gonna stand up again. Again, the keys are really, really small. went. I know where they go. They go on the... Maybe I can disable the flow of oil. Oh, for God's sake, did I hit the wrong thing? Yeah, I probably did. I did. My turn. Yeah, okay, um... Where's the aft funnel? Oh god. The aft funnel, I believe, is one of the smokestacks. The smokestacks, yeah. I guess an explosion caused the smokestack to uh, produce oil. How am I going to match these keys with their proper pegs? Sorry about that. My friend does a live chat thing that I can sometimes help her with. And I sometimes I'm on her with, where with. Um, I'm sorry, Thomas. It would seem disturbing the captain is my destiny. Right. Now we go to Maybe I can disable the flow of... Just, I just read that first. Okay. The aft funnel, though, I'm used to getting, like, this live chat thing from my friend who does live chatting for a little, like... I don't remember her name, but we don't, I don't do it with her anymore, but I, I used to. But 
She hasn't been on in a while, so. Like I, like I could remember what her channel is like this. No. How do you do this? My knack for breaking things is unrivaled. They all have to turn red, right? Yeah. They all have to turn red so that they should have stopped the flow. Captain, I don't think you understand what I'm offering you here. And I've told you, Mr. Ashley, I have equal concern for all passengers aboard. I cannot single out any person. You suck, Robert. What about women? What about children? They are singled out, aren't they? No, Mr. Ashley, I know Sorry, you're so upset, but... I just as soon not hear anymore. I'm coming in. Screw you guys. Margaret, what are you doing in here? Mrs. Ashley, you should be in a lifeboat. I should ask the both of you what you're doing in here. The captain and I were just having a discussion about ship's policy. Tedious stuff. I'm not a fool, Robert. Of course not. Look, Margaret, the situation on board is great. You, you, you think I don't know that? I've known that for ages. I tried to tell you, but you were too busy downing drinks to listen. If you'll both excuse me, I have duties to attend to. Margaret, please. Now is not the time. Well, you're right about that, at least. Meet me at the Grand Staircase. I'll join you there momentarily. We can discuss this further then. Yes, yes, all right. Gymnasium. I could stand to vent a little aggression. I don't know my own strength. Say, I didn't know they filled these things with sand. Yeah. It's no purse, but it will have to do. Right. We're to now after the sand. Go to the first class property. There. Just gritting the path like winters in Somerset. Oh, me darling girl! Mother, I need you to stop running about the ship. We need to organize and get into a lifeboat as soon as possible. Oh, I agree, but... No buts, no accepts. Now please, just do as I say, Mother. Get to the ground staircase and stay there. I'll meet you there soon. If I must. to get to a lifeboat immediately. Margaret, I, I hate to rain on your parade, but I don't think it's quite that simple. And just how would you know that, Mother? Actually, Margaret, dear, I must agree with your mother. What? Well, getting to lifeboats is a grand idea, but we all know there are far more people aboard than boats, and we need an edge. We can't just hope to be lucky. I have quite a repository of cash in my room. It might just mean the difference between a spot on a boat and a spot on the sea floor. And I need to retrieve my heart medication, or I could die either way. What? You mean we have to go all the way down to steerage? It isn't in steerage. Well, where is it then? In the hospital. They wouldn't let me carry it with me. Well, we don't have time to do both. We have to split up. 
I'll come with one of you. Which one? Ooh, I got shoes. Uh, I'll come with you, Robert. Mother has a much better chance of getting into the lifeboat alone than a woman. Um, I'm, for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go with Mother, just because, you know, I, she has to get heart condition, she's older. I'm not sure what Robert's actually doing. I'll go with you, Mother. Robert is capable of taking care of himself. I'm not so sure you are. That settles it, I suppose. Don't mope, Robert, you'll be fine. Just act fast and get to a lifeboat. Right. I don't think he does. Right. Right, guys? I don't, I don't think he does. Oh, God. What did that say? April, April 15th, 1912, 2 a.m. Oh, these stairs. They're devilish. This gate is locked. I'll have to find a way through. Can you soldier on a bit? I think... I think I should stay here. I'm not feeling well. Is it your pills? Maybe. I'll just sit here. Wait for you. Remember, white round pills. Glass bottle. Got it. I'll be as quick as I can. Okay. Alright, so we're going to. Oh, dang. Don't... I can't go there until I find a way around that blasted gate. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I get it. So if you choose to go with Margaret, which we were Emma, which we did. Emma. Here we go. We went for the first of it, we went with Aunt Emma. Maybe another maybe in another playthrough we'll choose Robert, but this one we choose Emma. Go to the gymnasium, okay? So okay, this is a different gymnasium. The rowing seat. So this is like teaching you how to row, I guess. I don't know. Comes in handy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, arrowhead. Okay. Nope. That was just a spear. That was a spear, not an arrowhead. There's the arrowhead. Arrowhead. What about pamphlet? Pamphlet. I did not mean to hit that. I knew where the pamphlet was. I did not mean to hit the hint. Um, sorry about that. I did not mean to hit that. Uh, present. Moon. <coughs> Same side would I want to eat for supper. For lunch, I should say. Probably, uh, pasta. Probably have some pasta. Make it some pasta. won't work without the seat, but that hardly matters anymore. It's too heavy to lift. I can roll it, but not with any kind of speed. Whew! Even lifting the medicine ball those few inches was near impossible. I'm sorry, Dean, but it had to be done. look like they go on forever. I'd best take care not to get lost. The 
a note. It reads, I've left myself to the fates. I didn't play it straight, and by all rights deserve what I get. Cryptic, but also quite disturbing. Taken a wrong turn in there. I did not go the right way. Okay. I'm gonna try again. second class staircase now. Thomas! Margaret! I mean, Mrs. Ashley, why aren't you in a boat yet? There's something I need to find below deck first. That won't be easy. They're locking all the doors as they clear people out. They don't want anyone going back after a trinket. It's no trinket I'm after. It's my mother's heart medicine. Well, make haste, Mrs. Ashley. Time is of the essence. I will do what I can to reserve you a spot. Okay, so we're doing we're pulling a movie scene it's done here. If your property needs destroying, kindly contact Mrs. Margaret Ashley, Vandal at large. We're pulling a movie stunt here, except in the movie she broke the glass of the hose, but with the hose. She had, she pulled this thing off and then broke the glass there. But same idea. Same damn idea. Go to the hospital. Hospital, hospital, hospital. I <sighs> never thought I'd be spending so much time in hospital at my age. And with all this water in here, there's too much pressure on the door for me to open it. I'll have to find another way to get mother's medication. With all this water... I got it. With Got it. Where? What are you looking for? Where are you going again? What am I looking for? Oh. oh. But another circumstance. At last, mother's medicine. I'd best to get it to her immediately. Uh, second class circus? Mar I can't do that. Why? Here are your pills, Mother. Thank you, Marty. Now we have to get to the lifeboats as quickly as possible. Okay. 
Okay, lifeboat ends the chapter. Thomas, I believe we're ready to board a boat now. Of course. Follow me, Mrs. Ashley. Thomas, you haven't seen my husband, have you? I can't say I have, ma'am. But please, don't lose hope. Mr. Ashley is nothing if not resourceful. And you, you'll find yourself a spot, won't you, Thomas? I have my spot already, ma'am. Now, please, there isn't much time. Guys, we're off. We're done. That's the end of the game. April 15th, 1912, 3 a.m. Okay, so this is after the ship went down. I had worked so hard to get what I thought I wanted. A powerful husband who could lift me from my meager beginnings to something grander. With one lapse in judgment, it was gone. Robert had our entire lives set up for us once we arrived in New York Harbor. God, that is a creepy I suppose picture. now I'll have to pick up the pieces. <laughs> that is scary. Perhaps I'll learn something in the process. <laughs> oh. I knew that once we reached America, I wouldn't feel alone. Besides my mother, I had my newly christened sisterhood. Those who survived. There, shivering in those lifeboats, our eyes transfixed by the horror before us. We were attending a mass funeral for those who were not yet dead. It was our lot to remember them to the rest of the world. Wow. Right. That was the Hidden Mysteries of the Fable Voyage Titanic, you guys. Woo! Okay, uh, we'll do bonus another- we are gonna do a bonus in a diff completely different episode. That is it for the game, guys. Uh, I will be back another time playing more Titanic stuff. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. No, sorry, it was really long. Um, there's certain videos I like doing in long, long parts. So uh, enjoy. Hope you enjoy. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.